How to change bitrate on Streamlabs OBS in 2023. Changing bitrate is very important because high bitrate usually means high quality video. However, you don't want to overdo it because the higher it will get, the higher the chances your viewers will experience buffering issues. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you want to open the settings here. And then we are going to proceed to output. Once here, you want to try to scroll down here. You have here the bitrate. Now, most people really are not sure how much value they're going to put here. So in order for us to find out, let's open Google Chrome. And say, for example, you want to stream to Twitch. What you're going to do is you're just going to type here streaming in Twitch bitrate recommendation. You're just going to type something like that. And then let's scroll down and see if we can find Twitch guidelines. All right, here we have Twitch broadcasting guidelines. Let's try to open this one. And then we're going to scroll down. So here we have two choices to choose from. We have NVIDIA Invenc specs. This is what you're going to use if you have NVIDIA graphics card. Otherwise, you're going to use this option here. Now, depending on the quality that you're going to stream, we have 1080p 60fps or we have 1080p 30fps. We also have 720p. You are going to be using different resolution and bitrate as well. So here are the following settings that you should be using. Say, for example, I want to stream in 1080p 30fps. So I'm going to be changing my bitrate to 4,500 kilobytes per second. And then I'm going to open back this one. So here our bitrate is currently at 6000. This is because earlier we have set our FPS to 60. And here if you are at 60 FPS, you're going to be wanting to use 6000. Okay, so let's go back here and then again output. And we're going to be changing our bitrate to 4500. And for the video as well, we're going to change it to 30 fps this is again because we want to stream at 1080p 30 fps now another thing that we are going to change is this one keyframe interval so currently my keyframe interval is at three i'm going to change it to two to follow the recommended twitch streaming settings and after that i'm just going to click done and after that, you can then start streaming in Twitch at 1080p, 30 frames per second. So that's how you're going to change your bitrate in order to have the best streaming experience. And once again, I highly suggest that you upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra to enhance your streaming quality and overall experience. Just click the link provided in the description box in the comment section below. You can instantly receive up to $10 of discount right away. If this content has been helpful to you, kindly consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. Your support is greatly appreciated.